All right, so have a nice day once again. So in this session, we'll be going to um I'll begin to show or discuss all about the last topic that we had with data structures and algorithm, which is the sorting. So sorting it is used to rearrange a given array or a list of elements according to a comparison operator on the elements. So basically with this, this is absolutely just to determine the um, order, just to sort or to arrange it carefully from that specific order. So it will be basically um, from ascending to descending. Uh, I mean ascending order or it could be descending order. So however, for this um, session, we'll be going to just um, more focus with ascending order. So in our last discussion, face-to-face, -face, we do have selection and insertion and bubble sort algorithm. Um, I mean, we don't, uh, we wasn't able to discuss a lot of sorting algorithm, but now, We'll be going to basically um, discuss all about selection algorithm and insertion and bubble sort in uh, behalf or for the sake for those folks which is absent the last meeting. Okay, let's move on. Let's try to um, have the selection sort. So for selection sort, this is basically um, selecting the uh, certain element, then uh, we are doing uh, doing actually also um, swapping will be happen on this particular thing. It is a simple algorithm. Then it is an uh, it is an in place comparison based algorithm in which is the list is divided into two parts: the sorted part at the left end and the sorted part at the right end. So we'll be going to see that later on so that it will be going to be um, making sense for you. So say, for example, if we do have an array here, given, let's try to see here. Um, Say, for example, we do have this array. Sick. Hmm. Okay. So we have here your example. This kind of array that we have here at the latter, uh, the even point, which is... How many n is uh, how many number of our, uh, array we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you need to actually class show the step by step iteration or the steps iteration or its steps basically um, in every um, time you need to show those things. So right now, we'll be going to see the step one for this. So how to do the implementation. So, so step one. So since in selection sort, so we are doing right now the selection sorting. So remember, selection sort ang una tanga in this class. So with this class, we are definitely doing um so in this one in our nine one two three four five six seven eight nine this is n minus one actually equals to pila nine minus one nine is the number of sort uh, I mean element so nine minus one it will become eight so there will be eight steps so for first steps. You'll be going to check here, check first, what will be the specific um, 
what will be the specific node or element which is the lowest value so is 45 like that is search mutanan so 9 will be the specific value which is definitely the lowest value in that particular array so 9 will be swapped to the first element for the first index so there need to update that we, uh, that will become 9 then will become 51 copy as is 32 um 29 20 um 9 then i don't know since 9 is the thing that we are doing to swap 45 will be updated then 18, then 7, and 42. So earlier, we was I was able to mention that basic thing we have here for the steps class is we are doing um we are doing the uh the sorted part will be at the left. So left, so here. So you just underline the nine because that is considered as the sorted. So left side, nasa arat na siya sa left side. So this in the right side of yours, all of those things, that's not sorted yet. So amo pa na siyang isort natin. Amo na naman na ang atong niya isearch what will be the least value in that particular array there. So eight there. So... Let's try to see what will be the lowest value. So I'm sorry, class. I have here error. error. 17, uh, a 7 will be the la ada, the specific um lowest value. Gali. So nasayop na naman si sir. La naman, ginto yun na ni. So I'll begin to update that into 17 na lang. Para wala anta problema. So, so that I could, uh, we could be able to continue. So, tao lang man ta. Na stress na tayo dito. Okay, let's move on. So, 9 is the lowest value sang aton nga element. So, 9 is done. So, what will be the um thing we need to do? 9 is already sorted. It's already in our next element. So here, class, we will just be going to update. Uh, let's try to see what will be the next. Search more is the minimum amount. Now here is 17. So 17 is the lowest value. Okay. 17 right now is our greatest, uh, greatest value with all of the Elements. So, swap mo siya kay 51. Swap kay 51. So, what will gonna happen? 51 will become 17 and 17 will become 51. So, that's simple as is. Then, please do make sure to underline the two since that is considered as sorted. Gets. So, do not forget in every steps, may during-duringan kapada. Nga underline, underline kapada. Kaya para mas makita mo kung di ang sorted and hindi ka mag-worry, mag-overthink. Okay. So we are done with that particular step two. So let's proceed to the step three. So step three, let's try to do it um carefully. So step three, we do have already the sorted value, this things. So compare mo naman, sino ang pinaka maba. So mababa is 18. 18 is the lowest, having the lowest value. So 18 will be swapped into the third element or third and uh, into, into the index two or third index. <laughs> so basically, 32 will be updated as 18. And 18 will become 
32. 32. So right now, what's gonna happen? Underline mo ang tatlo, kay sorted na sila. Three. Okay, we are done. So let's move on to the next steps. Next steps, step four, we are having, um, we are having here the rest. So you'll begin to find the lowest value, which is specific, a uh, specific to 20. So 20 is the lowest value among all the left unsorted. So update. And swap that into the fourth index, which is 29. So update 29 into 20, then 20 into 29. That's simple as is. Then, of course, si step four, apat na ang sorted. And right now, we'll begin to proceed to step five. Step five. So I just did the ano bin copy paste ko lang para dasig. So in your exam, you need to do this carefully. Be mindful. So with the step five, compare na naman kung sino ang pinaka mabo. Twenty nine is maba. So just copy as is, and no need to update. You just copy into the step five. Then underline mo until twenty nine. Because that is five elements is already sorted. Right now, we'll be going to determine the left elements for the step six. So just copy as is. Uh, copy ko lang. I'm sorry. Step six. In this particular thing, we for 45 to 42. Sino ang pinakamaba? Search mo naman. Then, 32 is the least value. Is the least, um, I mean, the lesser value among all. So, therefore, update and swap that into 45. So, 45 will become as 32. And 32 will become as 45. Okay. We do have already six element um sorted right now until 45 i mean no 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 i until 32 hindi na nay mag overthink nalapaw lang si sir until 32 and right now let's move on to the step 7 for step 7 step copy as is then for step 7 what will be gonna happen? You compare the third, the three elements. No, wala pa sort. So this is the lowest value. Then swap that into forty-five. So forty-five will become as forty-two. Then forty-two will become as forty-five. And now that is basically until forty-two is the sorted value we have. So since it's been stated here that we need to have step uh, eight steps, so right now, just copy the step seven, then update now, second. Let's try to see what's what going to happen. So what is going on? Okay. Sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. Okay. So right now here, 51 and 45. 45 is list value, then swap with each other. Then that will be the last stage we have since 45 is in place and 51 is in place. So therefore, this is the last steps we have for the step eight. That is 9, 17, 18 until 45 sorted and 51. We don't need to sort that one since wala na value nga compare. All right. So there we go. We must stop the right there. And we are already having um, put mo lang ang final sort. You write mo lang 
final sort at the lower part, final sort, final sort, then ano siya nga sort ba? For example, insert a selection sort, just print this one. Amo na siya ka-simple to get this kind of sorting for the selection sorting. Right now, let's move on to basically, um, since we are done with this one class, let's move on to the next particular example. So say, for example, if we do have here, um, if we have, for, well, let's move on to the insertion sort. So we are done with the selection and insertion sort class is we are just searching the lowest part and then put that into the specific sorted place, then just copy the remaining man and e is lang sa. So insertion sort, this is very basic as well. Simple sorting algorithm that builds the final sorted array or at least one item at a time by comparisons. It is much less efficient on large lists than more advanced algorithm such as quick sort, heap sort, or the merge sort. Okay. Insertion sort class is actually placing an unsorted element at suitable place in each iteration. So it is basically, we'll begin to check this in this particular um, array here, for example. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, there you go. We have here a certain example, which is 51, 45, 30 to 21, 8, 7 to 46, 39, 30, 10. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 is our number of elements. So it will become 9. 9 minus 1 is equals to, uh, I mean, 10 minus 1 is equals to 9. So 9 steps, still the same thing we are doing with insertion sort. So with insertion sort class, what we are doing here is basically, yeah, um, update lang natin. All right. So step 1. One second, let's bring it on. Step one. That is, just search the lowest value, 51, 45, 32, 21, 8, 72, 46, 39, 30, 10. So eight is our least value. So since eight is our least value, uh, I mean, is our lowest value from that particular. So, if forward muna siya sa first index versus index, uh, index, index, zero. I'm sorry, class. Nabulol na zero. Nabulol ka na, sir. So, that is eight. Then, copy as is. Eight, then, 51. Copy mo lang na sa. 45. Si Bugon mo lang na sa. 32. Um, 21, then 8, then 72. Ah, no, no, no. 8 is already for uh, basically swap. Uh, na insert mo na sa given index. So 72, proceed, then 46, yun na, 39, 30, as well as the 10. Okay, that is for our step one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, there you go. For our step two class, still use the same thing. What will gonna happen? Sort naman si sorted naman si eight. 
that is basically underline. Underline mo lang na, hindi mo na na siya pag i-enter sa imo nga pag-insert. So, diri ka naman ma-insert sa second index. Then, copy as is. Amo na na siya. You search the list value, then copy, um, insert into that first um, particular index step by step. Then, pag-sort na na sa next to that sorted value, dira ka naman ma-insert. So, from there, from 51 to 10, what will be the least value is, let's check, it's 10. So, since 10 is the uh, least value, therefore, we will be going to update here. And our 8 will begin to have 10, then copy as is, 51, 45, 32, 21, 72, 46, 39, 30, since 30 is inserted here. So basically, that is for our step two class. How about for step three? For step two, we already do have the um, specific sorted value 8 and 10. So right now, we'll be going to see here what will be the lowest value. So search more. So we have here 21. 21 is much lesser than the other number. So what will gonna happen? Insert mo siya sa third index or sa index 2. Okay. So what will be the thing? So 21 will be inserted here. Then copy 51, 45, 32, 72, 46, 39, and 30. So we remove the third 21 already. So that is our step three will gonna look like. Then step four, let's proceed to step four. That is basically like this. So step four, since the third, three, third step, we do have sorted until 21. So let's try to check what will be the least value or the lowest value in this particular um, elements. So 30 is the next lowest value. So it will be inserted at 51. So much better class. In your particular every step, circle mo ang lowest value. I will ask that one in your exam. So it means that kung nakita mo nga video, if you're listening to this video into your exam, you could be able to answer the correct Thing that I am asking so that we will be in the same page and detailed a new answer. So 30 will be inserted at 51. 51 um, place. Then copy 51 as is. And that is the particular thing we are having right now. So how about for step five? For step five, um, we already do have the sorted value until the 30. So what we're going to search here, we'll begin to search the lowest value, which is the lowest value here present is the 32. So in circle 32, since that is the least value, and that will be inserted into the value, um, into the place of 51. So just update as is. So that is 32. Then copy everything. So then that is already our step five will gonna looks like. So let's proceed to step six. For step six, since in our step five, we already do have a sorted value under 32. So we underlined it. So from step six class, into your step six, what you'll be going to do you will be going to search what will be the lowest value for that certain element. So here we do have 39, the lowest value among all. 39 will be inserted at the place of 51. So there you go. 39, update. Then copy 51, 45, 72, and 46. 
So, ang mula na siya ang sa step 6 ang dapat mag-show. How about for step 7? We already do have in our step 6 until the 39 which is already sorted. That is basically well and uh we're going to show in your step 6. For step 7, what we're going to show here is definitely you'll be going to search what will be the lowest value. So the lowest value for this particular element is basically um we have here class um let me just pagamian ko lang circle kay down natabunan okay here 45 is the lowest value so 45 will be inserted at the place of 51 so therefore update 45 is inserted then 51 copy 72 and 46 so in our step 7, we already do have a sorted value until, until 45. So let's move on to our step 8. In our step 8, we'll be going to have search the three elements unsorted, which is what will be there. Lowest value here is the 46. So therefore... 46 will definitely be posted at or inserted at the place of 51, the same thing. So what will going to happen? We'll be going to update our step 8 um, into, <clears throat> we'll begin to update, I'm sorry, why does I'm having step 9 already? Update sa 51, see 46. Insert, then, amuna siya dapat ang matabo sa imo step 6, a uh, step 8, rather. So, in your step 8, you already do have the sorted value until the 46. So, it means that dua na lang ang unsorted value. What will be the show here? 51 is the play, uh, is our list, uh, list value. So, copy as is. No changes made. So just underline 51 until 51. Then, since 72 is not, uh, wala na tayo compare da. So just put insertion sort, um, final ano, result, insertion sort is copy mo lang ang amuning answer in your final result. That's what the insertion works. That's how insertion works. And that's what uh, the steps, what are the steps we're going to show, how you will begin to particularly step by step the process. That's absolutely what I want to see into your final exam answer. So basically, if you watch my video, you're going to have, I will be going to, uh, to definitely answer what I definitely ask since um wala ko ka updates in all right let's move on since we are already done with um our let me delete this one uh with our selection and insertion let's move on to the very kuti nga sorting which is the bubble sort algorithm so bubble sort is something iteration, very capital. So let's try to see here, class. Let's try to have six elements long. 21, um, 18, 7, um, 80 or 1, and 6, and 14. So for example, we have six element here one two three four five six so particularly with that certain thing class with the bubble sort we are having each pass or each iteration the step-by-step -step process as well i want you to show everything for that one basically since you also need to um, show these things 
here. So for your insertion, uh, for your bubble sort algorithm, step by step, taniya compare. So first thing in our first pass. So every pass class, every iteration or called first pass is definitely having a step-by-step -step process need. So step or first iteration. Na. So I'm sorry, in the first. Okay. So say for example there, you have first iteration nga amuna nga value. Ah, I'm gonna value. You have the first iteration right there. What you'll be going to do, class, you'll definitely compare or compare first the two elements. That is the thing that you'll be going to determine first. And <laughs> you will do the swapping element. So sometimes this bubble sort is referred to as a uh, sinking sort, actually. Then, it is a simple alg algorithm that we repeated these steps um, through the input list element by element, comparing the current element with the one another after it. So, it is absolutely class arranging a string of numbers or other elements in the correct order. By examining each, each set, uh, air, I mean every set of adjacent elements in the string from left to right, switching their position. And after you do the first pass, you go with the second pass and we'll be going to do this carefully. So here class, there will be n minus one as well. In every, in every iteration, my n minus one calculation is shown up as well. So for your, uh, for your all of that particular bubble sort, you have six elements. So you have six minus one, it will become five. So we'll begin to determine that later on. I'll be going to show where to, cut, uh, to show that in your particular exam steps. So for first iteration, so 21 and 18, since ascending order lang man gina nga itong gina focus. So 21 is 18. Does 21 is greater than 18? Yes, that is greater than. So there, therefore, you need to swap. 18 and 21 is being swapped. Then copy as is 7, 81, then 6, then 14. Muna siya. Ang mag-show sa imo first na step so first iteration. Every step sa mong, step by step sa mong. So second steps. We are done with 21 and 18. So let's move on to 21 and 7. Step by step ta. Amun asya. Man, there you go. And afterwards, we'll begin to understand that later on. So 21 and 7 compare. Is 21 is greater than 7? Yes. So therefore, swap the two elements. 7 and 21 is being swapped. So therefore, ang atong goals in class, unlike with selection and insertion, the sorted element will be placed in the left side. The sorted element for bubble sort will be placed into the right side. Right. Mm. Remember that. It will be placed in the right side as always. So, right now, we are having in every uh, since in this particular iteration, we are having the six element in the first iteration, six minus one, show that class in every step. So we have five steps for first iteration. So five steps dapat. So here, copy na to and compare. So in this particular thing, 21 and 81 will be compared. So 21, is mas dako pa ba sa 81? No. Therefore, no changes made. Then, let's proceed to the next steps for that specific 
plus or iteration, which is the 81 and the 6. So is 81 is greater than 6? Yes, of course. So therefore, we swap that specific element, 81, into 6, and, 80, and 6 will become 81. So therefore, um, lastly, last step, the last step is the fifth step, 81 and 14. So 14 will be the, will be swapped into 81 and 14 will be swapped into 81. So right now, class, we will just encircle the 81. That is already considered as that is considered as sorted value. So, i-circle mo lang na sa class. Kag do not touch that in every, in your next iteration. Remember, you don't have to touch that. So, let's move on to the second iteration. For your second iteration, pila na lang sila kabilog na i-compare. You have five. One, two, three, four, five. Because the 81 is considered as Order, uh, I mean, um, sorted. So, 81, hindi mo na, na siya ipag-touch. Ang muna siya nga ginbutangan mo na highlight or ginsirkulan mo na. I want you to also put that in your exam. So, there we go. Let's move on. In this particular steps class, the same thing. The same as you have did earlier. Back to basic. 19 and 7. Well, uh, 18 and 7, rather. Is 18 is greater than 7? Yes, of course. So therefore, 7 and 18 will be swapped. So 18 will become 7 and 7, vice versa, will become 18. And right now, we already done with the first step of that second iteration. How many steps will be going to determine in this iteration? So we have five elements left. Unsorted minus one will become four. So four steps, four um, steps in our second iteration. Butang mo giniha, i-calculate mo gini sila. That is really important because that's still have a point into your exam. Okay, next step, we are done with, I'm sorry, why does I... It's the thing that I did, 81, 18 and 21 is, you compare that right now. Does 18 and 20, uh, 18 is greater than 21? No, that's why no change is made. And there you go. For our next steps, we'll be going to have compared the 21 and the 6. The 21 is greater than 6? Yes, of course. Therefore, there will be a swap function will be happen. So right now, I'm sorry, what's going on? Let's update. So from there, si 21, mahimo, uh, mahimo siyang 6. 21, mahimo siyang 6, 6, sorry, say 6, mahimo siya 21. So that is specific third step in our air uh, in our sorting algorithm right now. Then we are done with twenty one and six. So we'll confer, uh, we'll also seek, uh, do the twenty one and fourteen. Another so twenty one is for twenty one is greater than fourteen. Therefore, there will be a swap function will be happen. So 21 will become 14 and vice versa, 14 will become as 21. So right now, class, consider, considering this one, 21 and 81 is an sort is a sorted value. So therefore, you'll be going to um circle the two sorted value and do not ever touch that, like I said. So we are done with the second iteration. Let's move on to the third iteration. For third iteration naman, it's the 
it is having four elements left. So from there, four minus one is basically having three steps. Okay, <laughs> let's move on. So from there, you'll be going to compare seven and 18. So what will gonna happen class? It's you two still no changes made because seven is lesser than 18. So copy as is, step two, proceed. So we'll begin to compare 18 and six. So 18 is greater than six. So therefore there will be a swap function will be happen. 18 will become six and 18 will, and six will become 18. All right, next step, compare 18 and 14. So since 18 is much greater than the 18 is much greater than the value of your um, element of your, I mean, 18 is much more, uh, is greater than 14. So therefore there will be a swap, 14 swap to 18. All right, so right now class, we already done, sorted naman si 21 and 81. So we are done. We have three steps already. So considering that one, 18 is already a sorted value in place. So 18, 21, and 81, you'll not be going to touch that anymore. Understood? So now let's move on to the fourth iteration. In your fourth iteration, the same thing of what is going on into your um steps earlier so the same thing what will gonna happen here i'm sorry um it's a mess so copy as is i'm sorry what i did okay oops all right so compare the first element and the second element seven and six seven is much more um high to six so therefore seven will become six and seven and six will become seven so how many steps we will begin to do here class since we have three left so minus one it will become two steps for fourth iteration so basically we are done with this so two na lang ka below so here class we are having 7 and 14. So 14 and 7 is in place. Uh, 7 and 14 is already in place. So therefore, now no changes made. Copy as is. So considering 14 is already in place, since 18 cannot be touched anymore, so circle that one since that is already sorted. Okay. This is being discussed earlier in my five iteration. Ta. So we will be having our fifth iteration which is the last iteration we will be having into our um, specific bubble sort algorithm. So copy lang niya, then compare first and second element, six and seven. Okay, since we do have two elements minus one calculated, so there will be one step only in this particular thing. Six and seven, six is definitely lowest than seven. So there's no changes made. So therefore, circle almost seven and 14 to 81, that is sorted. Six, there's no value will be um, compared of. So you just have to, to just simply put the bubble sort result, bubble sort, Sorted value, bubble sorted value, <laughs> which is basically this one plus six, seven, 14, 18, 21, and 81. So that is basically our sorted value for bubble sort. That is so basic plus. Kaya nyo na. And what is being asked, what I'm asking to your class, always do remember that 
because that is definitely will be the one will be going to come up in your exam. Okay, so remember in your bubble sort and minus one, so there is five iterations, so we are having fifth generation. Uh, I mean iteration, not generation, rather. That's iteration or pass. So in our first pass, we have six element unsorted. So six minus one, we have five steps. In our second iteration, the same things apply. Show everything like this class, this. So for questions, kindly drop that into the comment section if you have so that I could be able to determine if you already understand everything or if you still have um, questions so that I could be able to address that right away. So thank you so much. That ends our discussion. Good bless for your exam and have a great day.